This is the deadliest star in space. It's so deadly that just looking at it will kill you. And we have the images to prove it. But what makes this star so deadly? Is it a black hole? Well, not quite. Black holes don't actually suck anything in. If you were to fall into one, you'd be utterly crushed to death by the immense gravity. But that's not what this star does. This is a quasar, which is basically a supermassive black hole with a disk of glowing hot gas around it. The intense gravity from the black hole causes the gas to spin around really fast and heat up to millions of degrees. This creates an enormous amount of energy that blasts out of the poles of the black hole at near the speed of light. This energy is what makes quasars the most luminous objects in the universe, outshining galaxies by a factor of hundreds or even thousands. But while quasars are incredibly far away, one was discovered in the early 1990s that was relatively close to us. It's called 3C273, and it's located 240 million light-years away in the constellation of Cancer. What makes 3C273 so fascinating is that it's the first quasar that was discovered to have a jet pointed directly at Earth. This jet is blasting material toward our planet at half the speed of light. Now, you may be wondering, should I be worried about this? And the answer is probably not. The material in the jet is mostly hydrogen and helium, which is pretty much the same stuff that's in our sun. As it blasts toward Earth, it will eventually form a huge cloud that will glow brightly and release huge amounts of energy. Some of this energy will be in the form of radiation that could potentially harm us. But luckily, this won't happen for another 200 million years. So we've got some time to prepare. In the meantime, astronomers will be able to study this deadly star up close and learn more about how these amazing objects work. They'll use the Event Horizon Telescope to image the black hole at the center of the quasar and try to understand how the material in the jet is accelerated to such high speeds. This research could help us understand some of the most violent phenomena in the universe and maybe even help us develop new technologies that could one day be used to harness the power of quasars. Speaking of which, do you want to learn more about the most powerful engine in the universe? Then check out this video, but don't click on it just yet. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Okay, now you can click and I'll see you there.